It's already been a few days since the summit of the century wrapped up. Still, there's a lot of buzz surrounding it. One of the most talked about subjects is the video the U.S. commander-in-chief prepared for the regime's leader. Trump tried to show what a great place North Korea can become. But did the message get through? EG1 follows us this report from Singapore. There can only be two results. One of moving back or one of moving forward. At their summit on Tuesday, U.S. President Donald Trump presented his North Korean counterpart Kim Jong-un with a five-minute long video, which he also showed to the press later that day and tweeted out to the world. He called it a story of opportunity. Showing golden sunrises, gleaming skylines, and world monuments, with the North Korean flag fluttering between them, the video narrates the bright future the U.S. says awaits North Koreans and Pyongyang. But at several points mixed in are black and white images of missile launches and the regime's militarization. The point of the video was clear to convey to Kim that he has choices, each of which comes with consequences, good or bad. Many found the video bizarre, but a North Korea expert in Singapore says the decision to play was understandable, considering the president's experience in show business. But he added that it could have been seen as condescending. The future remains to be written. It is telling uh, Mr. Kim Jong-un in the least to imagine uh, these scenarios. But, you know, the thing is that we need to give Mr. Kim Jong-un, as the leader of his own country, uh, the... The, the due respect as someone who is intelligent and sophisticated and informed enough to be able to imagine for himself what the options are. Kim's reaction to the video, only those at the summit know, but according to Trump, Kim seemed to like it. I showed it to him today, actually during the meeting, toward the end of the meeting, and I think he loved it. About eight of their representatives were watching it, and I thought they were fascinated by it. I thought it was well done. I showed it to you because that's the future. In fact, the video did show consideration for its audience, with Korean text overlaid, Korean narration, and even some specifically North Korean vocabulary. Professor Ong Webb said the U.S. did not seem to have ill intentions in making the video, but he added that the execution could have been better. And it needs to be more sensitive going forward because the whole situation is very sensitive. We know how a little word or a little deed can actually derail the whole process. Every picture in every frame has a thousand words and have, can have tons of different meanings. But regardless of what Kim thought of the video, the expert said he is certain that the North Korean leader has seen the economic and other possibilities for his people and his regime through the summit and his visit here. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News, Singapore.